This is a Louis T. Network exclusive. For those of you who don't know, I'm Louis T, host of the Louis T Network, and this is One Burning Question, a series that will take a look at all 32 teams in the National Football League and pose a question. Some teams will have micro questions where we look at the team in its current state and talk about what could potentially happen for them in this season, and some will take a macro approach where we kind of open up the lens a bit and take a step back and look at it from a wide view look and perspective and talk about where these franchises might be going in the future not just this season but moving forward so i'll take a look at each and every single team ask a burning question answer that question and move on to the next team thank you for joining me enjoy one burning question Welcome to this In The Lab Room exclusive series, One Burning Question. I, of course, am your host, Louis T. Thank you for joining me on this program. We're talking New England Patriots. And wow, it seems like this team never ceases to amaze me. They, they get it done year in, year out. The parts change, coaches change, but the results remain the same. They're one of the best teams in the league. And yeah, there's a direct correlation to Brady and Belichick, but give some credit to that whole organization. We, we, we complain about the Patriot way and them cutting ties with prominent players that have helped them for so long and getting rid of them maybe a year or two earlier than other teams may have, but they're out in front of the curve. You don't like the way they handle some of their players telling Julian Edelman, hey, Hit the streets, see if you can find a better deal, and if you can't, we'll be here waiting to sign you up when you when you come back to the table and you want to talk. And you don't like the way they do guys, Wes Welker. When Brady said, hey, I'll give up money to get Wes back on the team, and they said, nah, we don't want Wes Welker back. We'll go out and get Danny Amendola instead. You don't really like all the things that they do, but you can't complain because they win. And it's a winning formula. They have the blueprint, they follow it to a T. And it's why the New England Patriots continuously finds themselves in a position to win the Super Bowl each and every season in the National Football League. Let's get to their one burning question. How much longer can the Brady and Belichick dynasty last? It's a question that a mere season ago, we all thought that that dynasty was in jeopardy. And I'm, I'm a firm believer that once Tom Brady is no longer the quarterback in New England that I think Belichick might hang it up. And I know he's a football lifer, and I just don't know what he does. It's not like he's going to retire to a career in television, <laughs> okay? Once he's done with football, he's going to be out of the media spotlight and attention. You won't see this guy around other than when they're honoring one of the Super Bowl teams and he'll return to Foxborough and, and you know, wave his hand and you know, speak to the fans and yada, yada, yada. But I mean, he's gonna be like a hermit after his career is done. You won't see this guy very often, but I don't know if he can win. Maybe that's something he'll wanna prove once Brady hangs it up. But I don't think he can win without Tom Brady in New England. And I know that's a really lofty statement and, and I have no basis for that statement, no merit whatsoever. I just feel like a lot of the success that has come out of New England has been because of Tom Brady. The parts have changed, the, the, the coaching staff has changed, everybody wants to pluck the hottest assistant off of the New England Patriots staff, and so they've had those guys change, but the one constant in New England throughout this whole thing outside of Bill Belichick has been Tom Brady, and I think that's why they continue to win. And last year we looked at this team after that Chiefs game early in the season, and nobody can sit here and tell me that you didn't have that same thought that I did, that this was over. I saw Tom Brady, the offensive line was in shambles, they couldn't protect him, and he was seeing ghosts. He was a shell of himself, he wasn't confident, he was making mistakes uncharacteristic to Tom Brady. 
And they got blown out by the Chiefs, and they had started off the season rough, if you remember. They should have lost to Oakland. Tough game at home to the Oakland Raiders? What? Yeah, they struggled with the Raiders, barely won that game in their home opener. And you thought to yourself, they started season two and two, and you're like, who are these guys? And Brady looked skittish. He looked afraid in the pocket. He was making mistakes. That was a rough one, that Monday night in Kansas City, where they were destroyed. I said, we've seen the last of good Tom, of Tom Terrific. He's gone. Now it's just Tom Brady. And uh, he went on a streak after that. You know, they got healthy along the offensive line. They made some changes. And uh, Tom Brady came out firing the football. And, and, and again, too, always remember, when Gronk's not healthy, that's a different football team. And he wasn't healthy early last season. And you could attribute a lot of their struggles early in the season to the fact that Rob Gronkowski wasn't in the lineup. You take him out of that lineup, and they're just not the same team. Nobody's afraid of a Rob Gronkowski list doing the Patriots team. I don't give a damn who's healthy. They can have Edelman, Amendola, LaFell. They can have all of their running backs back, Deion Lewis, all of those guys. Nobody's afraid of a Patriots team without Rob Gronkowski. You stick him in that lineup, and you can be missing two receivers, two backs. doesn't matter. With Gronk in the lineup, they, they got a chance. They got a fighting chance because he makes that much of a difference. And early in the season last year, there was no Gronk. And the offensive line wasn't good. And you put those things together, and yeah, it was a struggle for Tom Brady last season. But the minute Gronk came back, they started firing on all cylinders. They make the run to the Super Bowl. They win it. And all is good. And now this season, he's playing at an MVP level once again. He's not going to win it because it, this is Cam Newton's award. They should just go ahead and engrave his name on that trophy right now. But Tom Brady's playing at that type of level again this season. And you could argue that the parts are less and less each and every single year. They took Edelman away from him. Football gods reached down, snatched Edelman away, took Gronk away from him for a week, took Edelman away from him, took uh, Amendola away from him for a week or two, took Deion Lewis away from him. It took some of the offensive linemen away from him. And, I mean, they've been dealing with copious amounts of injuries, and it doesn't matter. Tom Brady is still chugging along, and he's looked as good this season as he's looked throughout his career. And you're asking yourself, how long can he keep this up? And so, as long as he's playing at this level, and Bill Belichick is still roaming the sidelines, who's going to stop the Patriots from competing? First of all, they win the AFC East every single year, okay? And right now, I don't see a team stopping them from doing it. Dolphins aren't ready. Bills aren't ready. Jets, they look like the closest thing to them in that division. But they still have Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback. And I know he's playing well this season, but come on. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick. So at some point, you say to yourself, well, they're going to win the AFC East like they do every year. Who's going to stop them from getting to the Super Bowl? Cincinnati without Andy Dalton? Denver, who has a dilemma at quarterback themselves? Pittsburgh, maybe. They got to get in first. I mean, this is a dangerous squad. And this goes beyond just this season. How long can Brady and Belichick keep it together? Let's, let's ask this one burning question one final time. How much longer can the Brady and Belichick dynasty last? And that's exactly what it is. It's a dynasty unlike we've ever seen in this league. And after they're done, I don't know if we'll see another one like this. Because we've had some great coaching quarterback tandems but none that even comes close to this. You have to go back to the 80s with Walsh and Montana and, and, and that group to even get close to a, a quarterback coaching tandem like this. This is unprecedented. And to me, if Brady continues to play this way for another four years, you gotta think that they're gonna get one more Lombardi at least, at least, and, and probably make it to another two. I mean, that's what the Patriots have been. They're the model of consistency in this league. And um, I always tell people this. I don't know if they're ever listening to me, but you need to treasure this. You know, I mean, really savor what you're watching and appreciate it. Because once Brady and Belichick are done and that dynasty is no longer in New England, you're going to miss what these guys provided for us for so many years. You may hate the Patriots now and you may not like the Patriots. And they, yeah, they're, they're the team that we have demonized in this league. They're the villains. Every good league needs a villain. And the Patriots have been that for the National Football League. 
but respect the villains. Because as a wise man once told me, this is the last time you'll see a bad guy like this. That's New England Patriots and their one burning question. I'm your man Louis T. See you next time.